Hello there, and thanks for joining me. I'm Corel Painter Master Aaron Rutten, and in this video, I'm going to answer a question from one of my viewers who supports my channel over on patreon.com slash Aaron Rutten. This question is from Kathleen, and Kathleen would like to know how to clone an image with a transparent background into Corel Painter on a new layer and maintain the background transparency of that image. So let's take a look at how to do that in Corel Painter 2017. And rather than using the clone source, let's go ahead and try the new texture feature to do this. So I want to make sure that I'm accessing my texture panels by going to Window, Palette Drawers, and I can locate the texture painting panels there. I have mine in a custom palette drawer here over on the right. And you can see I have texture brushes, textures, texture libraries, and transform textures. Let's go ahead and create a new layer. We'll use this new layer to clone our image onto. And I've already created an image of a flower. I'll go ahead and drag that into Painter, or I could choose Open to open it. And you can see that this image does indeed have a transparent background by this checker pattern here. I can turn the background on and off. Now it's important that once you erase your background, you make sure to save as a format that supports background transparency. That would be PNG, Painter Riff, Photoshop, TIFF. However, JPEG does not support background transparency. It will always add white to the background. You want to make sure that when you're saving as PNG and some of the other formats that you keep save alpha checked, alpha is this background transparency. So once you have your image with a transparent background open here in Corel Painter, let's go ahead and turn this into a texture so that we can clone with it. I'm going to go to Select All, and then the Textures panel in the top right sub-dialog menu, I'll go to Capture Texture. I'm going to call this Texture Flower and click OK. And now it appears in the Textures panel and the Texture Libraries. So now we can go ahead and jump back over to our image with the background here. And let's go ahead and clone our flower onto this background. I'm going to go to the Texture Libraries, click on my Flower Texture to load it. Go back to my Textures panel and click on Show Texture. Now I'm only going to be able to clone this flower over here or wherever this guide here is showing where the texture is going to appear. If I want to move that, I can click on Move Size up in the Properties bar. I'm going to move that over. If I want to resize it, I can drag on one of the corners, hold Shift so that it doesn't get stretched, and I can move it wherever I want, and I can click on the check to commit. Now we can go ahead and hide the texture, and let's select a texture brush to go ahead and paint with. Let's choose the Texture Cover category, and let's choose Dynamic Speckle Color Control Smudge. Now by default, this is going to paint with the color you have selected, so you can see if I paint here, I'm painting in a pink flower because I have pink selected. However, if I don't want it to be pink and I want it to be the color of the texture, in the Texture Brushes panel, I want to make sure Color Control is not turned on, and now when I paint, I'm getting the original color from that texture. And again, this is on a separate layer and the background transparency is maintained. So I could take this layer, I can move it around if I want to, I can change the composite method if I want to, I can go in and I can blend the edges if the edges are too completely perfect, and I can even turn Show Texture back on, go back to that texture brush, and I can transform it, Let's maybe flip it the other way and make it smaller, I can paint in another flower over here. Now this time I'm going to use a different brush. I'm going to use one that has some dab stencil. So I'm going to select Stencil Flow Map Soft Color Control. Let's go ahead and turn Color Control off and let's paint. And now you can see that we get this nice dab stencil effect. That'll be more apparent when we hide the texture. And if I play with my flow map here and make it smaller, I can get a little bit of variety in the edges that are breaking up here. But then I get this nice organic looking stenciled effect. So it's worth experimenting with all these different presets here, and you can also play with the different controls over here to get the kind of brush that you want. But anyways, that's a quick tutorial on how to take an image with a transparent background and clone it into another image in Corel Painter on a new layer while maintaining the background transparency. If you found this information helpful, take a quick second to like this video. And if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more Corel Painter tutorials like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.